surgery. Now we understand this process. We are unraveling the truth. We are unraveling exactly what everything happens. But one piece of knowledge was missing. And that piece of knowledge was the creation of gravity. Now that we have found how gravity is created, and you lots work with it. You make a coil, gravitational coil and magnetical coil. Now you become familiar with it. Now you can feel it, you can understand it, because it interacts with the things you make. Now we can start understanding the depth of the knowledge. So in a way, we started with a matter state, but we came down gradually, and we got to plasma. But let's look at it the other way, as I've explained in other teachings. Let's look at the fields. The fields in the universe come together. Some interact, and some do the opposite. This became the gravity, and this became the magnetical, or repulsion. Then, when they came together, these fields, in interacting with each other, they created what we call the plasma. Then, when the plasmas got together, we got, let's say, electron and a proton. We saw the atomic structure, what we call physics. In a way, before we see the plasma, the work of the plasma, we came to one step in the knowledge of man, somewhere in the middle here, which we became knowledgeable. We called it nuclear technology, which became understanding this one. Before this level, we just became another scientist. We call them atomic, because our knowledge went further enough that we could understand these two. So we see we went the whole thing the other way around in the world of science. And then when these atomic structures came together, we call them molecules. And this is where our chemistry came from. And then, when we got further down, putting more atoms together in a specific combination, mainly in four, we became biology. And this is where our life comes from. And then, when we added more to this circle of biology, we came to understand the essence of the creation of the intelligence. And then, when we add the six dimensions to it, we came to understand a free plasma condition interaction of the totality of the two, which gives us what we would like to call the soul of the man. So we went the wrong way in the world of science. We started from here. We saw our physicality. And then we started seeing it, we became physicists, then became chemists, then became atomic physics and nuclear, and then now we understand if we would have started from this end of the science, we would have had no problem. And this is where we are. This is now why when we speak about plasma and the field is created the mayhem because it goes against everything we've seen, everything we knew, everything we were thought, and we don't want to accept, or it'll be hard for us to accept, how come we were so ignorant of what we saw every day? Because to go this way needs a lot. You start from the weaker point. You start with very, very weak. And then you get yourself trapped in the whole structure. If the man would have gone from the beginning this way, he didn't have to go all this way. Because going this way would have been very easy. But the man, at the point of understanding the matter in a physical state, went the wrong way. We went this way. So now what we show here, we talk about this. And this is what is creating all the mayhem. All the problems that we are wrong, the technology is wrong, because it's the ignorance of the man who has brought this condition on. Because we accepted the matter, and now trying to say for thousands of years has been correct, and we've been wrong, it's against the rule and the grain of the thought of the man. So from now on, we work in one level, on the top. Because now we can manipulate 
the plasma. We can manipulate the fields of the universe to create any plasma which we like, which with it we can produce any matter we like. And then as we understand more and more, we understand in having this, you go back to the origin of the creation itself. and the fields which have created it. This is why the present plasma technology and what we call the universal knowledge is in such a mayhem with the new world of life and technology and science. Because we have accepted so much that to say we've been a bunch of Ignorance of the work of the universe is too much. So we create oppositions, we create there is something wrong with it. But now we have seen it's taken hundreds of years for some sciences to be accepted. Now we see universities, scientific organizations are rushing towards accepting because it makes sense and they start working. We are getting now news every week. Different universities have started different collaborations. They are accepting the Keshe Foundation plasma technology as part of now the teachings. We see organizations which are in atomic and nuclear, the highest level in different nations, are supporting because it makes sense, because it answers a lot of unknown. Because a lot of unknown and the systems which are not working, now understanding the work of plasma, we can do it. It can be done. Look at the laws of the thermodynamic. It's through the window. It's finished. But if you can take all the assumptions which was made in thermodynamic, especially the first law, you, and you can really explain it, redefine it with the plasma, it will start making some sense in respect to the interaction of the world of the plasma, field transfer, and matter state. All the assumptions which were made in so many formulas, all the assumptions which was made by scientists to show that they can prove something is working, now those assumptions can be brought into the equation and some of the mistakes can be corrected and some of the answers which we could not find in the world of physics, chemistry or biology now can be defined, can be explained, can be corrected. It's not that we are changing everything. We are adding to the missing point of assumptions in the physics. You got to understand, we have a very simple thing. A plasma, electron is a plasma, proton is a plasma. Interaction of electron and proton is two plasmas interacting, creating a field of themselves, we call it atom. This is the base of the present knowledge after 40 years, if you would have spoken, or 60 years, if you would have said to somebody 200 years ago about atom, they would have said, the guy's crazy. When you start talking about chemistry, they became alchemists because they knew, but they couldn't explain. If you would have spoken about proton exactly 100 years ago, in 2016, uh, 1916, just before the First World War, they would have said, the guy is a lunatic. Now you speak about the atomic and molecular and nuclear because we added to the knowledge. But in that process, a lot of assumptions have been made. It's not that the science is wrong. Now we can fit in the assumptions and see if it fits in. Look at all the sciences we've brought in. Now Einstein brought a subject that the speed of light is the ultimate speed. And we accepted it. But it's wrong. But on the other hand, it's right. The speed of light, which Einstein speaks about, is correct only and only in a matter state of the magnetic field strength according to our point of observation. When you pass that, it doesn't apply. Because now we know, we can explain, we can show, we can create fields which are much stronger, much in strength in gravitational magnetic field above the speed of light that now we can 
and we can actually travel with hundreds, thousand times by matter of order of magnitude than the speed of light. So can we blame Einstein or can we support Einstein? Yes, this was the knowledge Einstein had, no more. He worked in a matter state. He could explain the matter state, but he could see other things, but he could not explain. Now with the plasma technology we can do. Einstein should have stayed a bookkeeper because in that purpose, he made a lot of mistakes. He made a lot of assumptions. Look at the structure of the speed of light. The way he calculated it is nothing but assumptions. He wanted to prove M is equal whatever or whatever he came up with, or energy is equal to whatever he wanted to confirm. But Einstein's work as a speed of light is correct in a very small way, but only in a matter state strength. If you go to above matter strength, then you understand that it doesn't work. But if you take the law of Einstein into the matter state of the higher orders, part of it fits. Because the order of plasma technology, the order of field interaction, applies across all levels of the universe. This is where we have gone wrong. And this is where we start explaining for the scientists who don't understand what's going on, that all the PhDs they got, all the professorship seats they got, it's gone down the tube because they worked on those assumptions. And now that we have brought a new knowledge, they have to oppose it because they wasted their life. We've seen people who cannot understand it, they oppose it because their PhD is down the chute. The professorship is down the tube. We've seen the first opposition from the man who supported, and now they find out his work has gone down the chute, is Mr. Winter. We see People from the scientists in the Italian nuclear, they see they're gone. American scientists have the same problem because a lot of work they've done has been on assumption. They sit down, they calculate, they see now bringing the speed of the plasma of a different strength of different magnetic fields changes the game. They see the reality, but they can't accept the reality because now the degree is worth nothing. They cannot be called doctors or professors. They are the human being, at the end, we can all add to the knowledge. The problem is so immense that we have to change the whole mentality of the understanding of the science of the man up to now by adding to it, but not destroying it. And this adding is creating mayhem for a lot of people. We saw when they added to the knowledge, we became from atomic people to nuclear people. We spoke about atomic bombs, and now we speak about nuclear bomb, and now we talk about plasma bombs and everything which is bombs to kill, where we can use these word of bomb to bomb them and start with a piece because we can work with the same way. Because what happens is very simple. We started with this part. So the base, if you look at it, is very simple and you understand. We started with physics, which is we could see matter and how matter interacts, and present physics, we work on electron and proton, the basis. Then in the interaction of these, we became to what we called chemistry. Now we have two of them. The more of these interactions, we came in the combinations I explained into biology. When we got this wrong with assumptions, so the whole thing has gone wrong. The physics, the basis of the physics in understanding of matter state by the scientists who brought it up because of the assumptions they were trying to help to develop the knowledge of the man, in parts has gone wrong, so it goes all the way wrong. In Farsi, we have a say. We say, if you put a brick down wrong at the foundation of the house, the whole wall of the house will be put wrong. 
it goes in an angle. And this is what has happened. Partially, if you see, I put a straight line, which means part of the knowledge is correct. The other part, which is made assumptions, which is to present knowledge, is not fitting in. But we have to understand, we made huge assumptions, huge scientists, and then to prove it, using the same wrong assumptions, we made more assumptions and more papers to prove each other's wrong. And this is what the peer review has become. The guys who got it wrong, now they made a club to say they are right, and they call it peer reviewing. So all the wrongs carry on with their own. Anybody comes with anything else, doesn't fit into that wrong, is wrong. This is what we try from now on to bring for you to understand. This is why we see the evolution of the science in a very rapid way. Because now, this was in the hand of elite. They called themselves scientists, then they gave themselves titles, professors, doctors, whatever. Where now, we become in a very clear division. Here, the scientific world and the degrees and the PhDs, here, human race, the housewives, the man on the street, plasma technology, making the gas, making the electronic systems, which are only electronic in the plasma transfer, and that has created and will create a bigger division in the world of the science of the man. Now, the knowledge is so simple that anybody can understand. Where the others who made the assumptions have made themselves so elite that very soon they'll be waste out. Because a housewife can show, I can make a pen, use the plasma technology, and my child doesn't have a pain. It's finished. We see now, we show later on today, the first Magrav unit in Italy, which is changed from a Magrav to a power supply. Where a man household and the wife takes the pictures. You see the video. The wife takes the pictures because now the housewife, a man on the street, has become plasma physicist. If this lot don't oppose it, they have to pack up and leave.